What would you say if I told you that there was a web browser without graphics? For example, this picture of the globe here. Without ads. Without flash support. A web browser that's completely text-based. A lot of my younger subscribers may wonder what the heck I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and load up YouTube, shall we? I've already got the URL in here. Let me just make sure. Yep. Now watch and time how fast it loads. From the second I push the enter key, I want you to get your stopwatch. You can pause the video if you need to find one. Get your stopwatch. The second I push the enter key, you hit the timer, okay? You, you hit uh, start on the stopwatch, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, go. See, that took a few seconds, all right? Now, let's try this with the terminal. Now, a lot of people may think that the terminal is meant for hacking. Actually, the terminal is the source of many great command line applications. And this browser called Lynx, L-I-N-K-S, is just one of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in Lynx. We're going to enter a URL here. Let me just zoom in so I can see what I'm typing. And we'll go ahead and go to YouTube. Now remember, keep keep the time that it took for, you, for, um, for YouTube on Firefox to load. Now when I put, say now, go ahead and time it again. Are you ready? Three, two, one, now. Boom. See, it's a lot faster. That's because there's no flash, there's no ads, it's all 100% text. In fact, if you want proof of that, why don't we go to the videos link, and you don't use the mouse, although you can, but um, I usually don't. It's not meant to be used that way. It's meant to be used with the keyboard and your arrow keys. So to navigate your links in links, you go ahead and use the up and down arrow. And we'll go ahead and go to videos. And we will, let's see. We'll try and play a video here. See, advertisement. Notice that there's no actual ad there. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter on this. It says here that you either have, either have JavaScript turned off or an, old, or an old version of Adobe's Flash Player. Um, this web browser does not support Flash. So... It doesn't support Flash, it doesn't have any ads, it doesn't have any graphics. Who in the world would use a web browser like this? Well, back in the day, you know, before there were real web browsers, people, you know, did everything through text. There was no graphics at all. And just a side comment, back in those days, the screen reader was a lot easier to develop. Because being that it was all text-based, you had no graphics to deal with. So, why would you want a web browser like this? Well, for one, it's a lot faster. Number two, there are no ads, so you don't have to worry about being spammed. The only possible exception is text ads, but you don't have any of those flash pop-ups. So what would you use this browser for? Checking email, for instance. Let's go and hit G to go to a web address. And I'll just type in gmail.com zoom out and watch boom gmail is loaded now there is one website in terms of email that it will not support so for any of you with this particular domain hotmail or in this case windows live i, I keep using hotmail because i'm used to it but it's windows live mail watch what happens This doesn't look like Windows Live Mail. There's no sign in or anything, is there? Let me go ahead and sign let me go ahead and see it says here login.live.com and so on and so forth. Windows Live ID requires JavaScript to sign in. 
This web browser, web browser either does not support JavaScript or scripts are being blocked. Now, in this case, it does not support it. So watch what happens when I go ahead and hit the refresh link. See, we've got what would be a graphic here, a graphic link. Windows Live ID symbol. Windows Live ID requires JavaScript to sign in. So essentially, you cannot access JavaScript enabled pages um, to get into the system, to get into Windows Live. So the advantages of a terminal browser versus a flash versus a graphic browser are that it's faster, there are no ads. Um, I don't know if I should say it's clutter free. It depends on the design of the web page. But in some cases, it's, it's clutter-free, no pop-ups. Um, the downsides are no Flash support, JavaScript is missing. So you would not want to use this for YouTube. You can go in and comment on videos. If you already know what the video is and you want to comment, you can do that. Um, you know. But this is basically um, the whole graphics versus web and I think this is a much nicer browser in certain circumstances than what they give you um, with the graphic web browser with Firefox um, I just think it's a nicer setup and incidentally one more thing how do you get to your history and whatnot well that's simple what you do is you hit escape and you get a full um, full menu here. So I'm going to zoom out. See? Full menu here. Now there is one interesting thing. You do have a history here. So if I hit enter on here, see this is all of our history. So if I hit, um, escape get out of there escape to go back if I hit quit Q for quit and I hit yes by typing Y and then I go into Finch and, and then I go back into links and I es hit escape go back into history you will notice that there is no history that's another advantage of having a text-based web browser over a graphic browser, this particular one at least, is the fact that history is not saved. This is the same case with a sister product called LYNX, also pronounced links, but um, no history is kept, no cache is kept. The second you kill the terminal process, which in this case is the links browser, everything is erased. So that is a much, I think it's a much more secure browser as well. So uh, that's a whole thing about graphic versus text uh, browsing. And I, I just think it's interesting. I really, I use links to check my Gmail sometimes. And I'll use Finch to do instant messaging. Um, in some cases, I just prefer the terminal over the graphical user interface. I just think in some instances it's cleaner. Um, because like with IM, you get everything in one window, including the buddy list. And you can just tab between uh, terminals. One tab being a web browser, one tab being a... Uh, uh, instant messaging client. Uh, there are some instances like with open office and whatnot where you have to launch the ju the um, graphical application but in some instances where you can use the terminal in place of it I would say go ahead and use the terminal just for the heck of it just for the experience. It, I, I just think it's worth it. it. I love the terminal. It's fantastic. Um, thank you for watching. Comments are welcome and have a nice evening.